such a pleasure to have you all here. Uh, today is a very special exhibition. Uh, from uh, It's a centenary of uh, Mr. Srinivasalu and his son is here with us, Mr. Gopal Chitranjan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can always meet him here. Yeah. There. Okay. <laughs> so thanks to him and a big contribution from Rama Suresh to have had this exhibition, uh, to produce it, uh, to do a YouTube video and everything is all his initiative and his dynamism. Um, now, uh, our chief guest, I welcome. She honored us many times, but she's always more and more welcome because she's very knowledgeable on Indian art, especially on Srinivasanu. So, we will first light the lamp and then uh, we'll proceed. Lakshmi will say a few words and uh, we invite you to do the bandhanam also while we light the lamp. Ms. Gomati Nair, she is the one who is going to sing the Vandanam while we light the lamp. It's traditionally done along with the lamp lighting. <laughs> Uh, I can't just say in a few words, if you exceed the time, you will excuse me. Um, he was a great artist and he was multi techniques and different, different interpretative styles and he could fit in anywhere and everywhere. And I think of all the awards and merits and recognitions that he had, the best is probably the art directorship, the art director of Kalakshetra Foundation. Mm -hmm. I don't think any of us ever had that term used for everybody else. So he was a soul open and he was there for a long time. I have known him from 86 onwards. When we went in, he was and at the, we call it Rukmani, uh, Mr. with Rukmani Devi, they had such fantastic rapport. So, even now, there are so many little, little details. We can see all over the campus, standing as new witnesses, with his choice, his vision, everything is there. Even the two wooden doors, the entry point for the dancers to wave in and out of the Rukmani Arangu, they chosen antiques and they are still functional and they are still there. And they have kind of simulated the same mood into the Bharataka Arangam also, Bharataka Chetra. And we, when we were students, the whole Rukmini Arangam didn't have a roof. After the cyclone, the thatch roof had gone. Fire was out and we went allowed to be it back. So we had a wonderful experience at our disposal. So all the visual arts students could just enjoy the space. And he was greatly influenced by the Paksh Mudos. There's always a comparison between him and Jamini Rai. Jamini Rai brought out all his idioms for the Fisher folks of Bengal. He had Le Paksh Mudos and he is a Telugu person hailing from Nagara from a lot of Lombardi tribal people around. So the colorful costume, the stones and different things, you know, that also influenced him. From Lepakshi, you can see upstairs all those big, big guys, even some of them have. It will be like uh, almond, there is a center pupil, big kind, uh, that kind. So we have a painting from him called the bride. 
bridal makeup. So the line will go from the maid to the bride. You don't know which is which, whose is whose. But you can see both. Suddenly the bride will come to the Suddenly the maid will come to the front. How he has composed it is something phenomenal. Like Leipakshi in that painting, he would have done the extensive textile design, but he doesn't fill up the space. He had made the check pattern, but then only one motif is drawn. So you can imagine more like a Monet solution or imaginative kind of painting to us. From there, he moved on to one orange hue. Unfortunately, none of that painting series has come here. It's a very lyrical. And he would have, that lady would have tucked a sari like this, and the baby will be inside. And then very beautiful expressions. And that from there he moved on to kind of a diamond eyes. Same mother and child series, Jesus Christ and Mary, that would have that kind of eye. And after that he went on superimposing multiple faces, activities and other things. And one more speciality of him, lots more, but one another rather, is his focus on the lifestyle of the village people at that period in time. Now, probably most of us may not even know the bullock arts. When he paints, he won't paint it as so the bullock art is coming here or going back. There will be always a turn. Even when he paints a Shravan Kumar carrying the two, his mother and father on two balancing, walking, he'll eat terrain, the hill road will go take a turn and the cart will be taking a turn and he'll do from behind. So those are his touches which are very beautiful, just spontaneous, amazing artistry. And then after the diamond eyes, he started putting a little more colourful, different, different interpretation. He was a master of techniques. You ask him, immediately he won't give. No more ready-made recipes like today. Tanja was painting one kilo of chakpudo, hundred grams of gum, or nothing of that kind. So you uh, go there. I wanted to do a madhubani. Fourth year we had to do pan-Indian art forms. People were very happy doing it on a paper, copy from Mark, whichever magazine it is available. Leave the white patch white and the color patch color. That's it. I said, if it's for sitting and doing the same thing, I can do it at home. Why do I have to come here? I'd rather learn it the way it has to be done. Simple thing like a Madhubhani. First thing was get some jute. So Asikadalabhani Sako I don't know. Other one he said fold it into two, get it stretched, totally work on it. So the next day you get that done. Then he'll ask for clay, cow dung and a little bit of cement. That little bit of cement is his side here. So that it doesn't fall out. It doesn't even till today I'm having it from 86 to now. So 37 years, nothing has happened. And then coated a lime, after that painted on it with all colors. Same way when we go to any technique for that matter. So now it's all ingrained in you, within you. You don't have to refer to a book or refer to what you've written when you have written nothing. Same way, every little thing. And retrospectively, when I go over to whatever course that I've done, it's taken us through beautiful lines, to forms, to shapes. What I, first the postcard paintings, watercolor paintings, then oil medium, and then the mixed medium. Beautiful travel. Amazing. And another thing was the yeah, backdrop to that. The whole Rukmini Arangam was open for us to work on. So the canvas 40 by 19 and such a huge thing will be just spread out there. And the colours, he is not an expensive paint user at all. Oxides from the plumbing material and the large vertical mud pots, it will all be there. Anybody, all the artists, all the students can have whatever you want to. Of course, he will say this is tree, this is river, this is something or that something, so you don't go beyond that. After all of us splash whatever we want to, wherever we want to, he will come back and do his land work and then it can transform into the very tree for Buddha or for. And there's one was the whole water body and then Buhan. But it will all be unobtrusive, very subtle, because backdrop has to be a backdrop. It cannot take over the dancers, their expressions, and the whole thematic program is more important. So whatever they produce has to be little second set, kind of a second level of concentration. 
same way he was able to create the jewelry, ornaments, costume designing, given the crowns. Initially he would do it all with paper machine, as the material availability and progress, things slowly evolved and changed and it is what it is today. All the cottages had beautiful Tanjava paintings hanging in them. And whenever the drama program is on, whichever fits the bill, that will come for invocation. So it will all be moving around. It was an open kind of field, a guru pula. It's a temple. <coughs> I think all of us will agree, Kalakshetra is a temple. With all the birds, so the songs of the birds, the rustling of the leaves, and then the tinkling of the antlers, and the beautiful melody and strumming of the flutes, and the rhythmic beats of the mridangam, and the sculptors chiseling away, and the artists doing the brushwork, they will all lead you to the banyan. And the banyan is wide open sky, that's the pavilion. And the big banyan is started as a small plant from Theosophical Society. It was a small tree that has grown wide, wide, wider, <coughs> so many roots, and those are the pillars. Then the sometimes Hector room is there already, that Ganapati is already installed and shrine. And the flowers are the students, and the fruits are the teachers and staff. And the Aradhana, which was begun <coughs> in 1936 with Srimati Devi, she was like a Vishwakarma. She sowed the seed of fine arts and it has grown beyond expectation. It's taken roots all over the world. Name Kalakshita from north to south, east to west, the whole world has people from the artists, dancers, everybody, every walk of life is there. With all the ambience, I feel I'm very, very blessed to have been able to be inducted into that sadhana Thanks to, again, Sri K. Srinivas Rizal. But for him, I couldn't have entered. But for him, I couldn't have evolved. And, on, and for all of the students of Sri Srinivas, I offer my greatest salutations to him. And my thanks to Sharadha and Adwar for giving me this wonderful opportunity to inaugurate not only in our Talk a few words, share the joy that I have within me. So that's something awesome. And his force of life, the variety, look at the line drawings of the buildings and other things. Black and whites, go upstairs. And his bias go, all oh, that has gone off now. And then the bullfight and cockfight, everything is down. Every little action that was happening, whatever was the sport, entertainment in the village, with, all the witness, it's like a Encyclopedia of village life, which is disappearing or disappeared all. So I'm very, very happy for this wonderful opportunity. I must say that the next show is Lakshmi's show, and she's a scholar, a researcher, a teacher, uh, and she wears many more hats. They both accepted me as a daughter, so they give me the same respect as an elder sister because I'm old. <laughs> and even in his family, everybody calls me like D D. And the same respect. More than the rest, the affection that comes with it is something a bonus. Enjoy that. I feel whatever I do, whatever I draw. The Kalachitra, the God above, two eyes and two hands, both the Guru, one is Devakin and the
ரிசர்வ் வந்து இன்னும் சக்ஸஸ்ஃபுல்லாக எனக்கு ஒர்க்கை ப்ரிசர்வ் பண்ணுறதுக்கு ரொம்ப கம்ஃபர்டபுளாக இருந்தது So uh, this is a very special show for us. Uh, my father, Soli Dharwal, had a long-standing relationship with these old artists. And uh, Sri Ram can uh, say that um, he has met my father in uh, Srinivasulu's uh, studio in the early 80s. So uh, we continue this relationship. We wanted to do this show four years back after COVID, but we thought we'll wait and give it a good timing and a good spread. And we're really happy because we're showing most of his work. And uh, it's an excellent experience. Thank you. வணக்கம் நான் வந்து ராமா சுரேஷ் சென்னையை சேர்ந்த ஓவியர் அடையாறு சீனிவாசில் வந்து அவரோட பையன் எனக்கு அறிமுகமானார் அவர் வீட்டுக்கு நான் போயிருந்தம் போது அவர் ஒர்க்ஸ் வந்து நிறையா பார்க்கக்கூடிய வாய்ப்பு கிடச்சிது அதுக்கப்புறம் நான் ஒர்க்ஸ் எல்லாம் நிறையா பா எடுக்க எடுக்க வந்துக்கிட்டே இருந்தது சரி இதை வந்து ஒரு ஷோ பண்ணலாமே அப்படின்னு பிளான் பண்ணி நாங்கள் ஆர்ட் வேலில் ஃபஸ்ட்டு ஃபஸ்ட்டு கேட்டோம் சரள மேடம் வந்து அக்செப்ட் பண்ணிக்கிட்டாங்க அப்போ கொரோனா சமயமாக இருந்ததுனால ஆன்லைனில் தான் ஃபஸ்ட் ஃபஸ்ட்டு ஷோ பண்ணாங்க அதுக்கப்புறம் தக்ஷின் சித்ராவில் ஒரு உண்மை ஷோ பண்ணோம் அடையார் சீனிவாசல் சாரோடது அதுக்கப்புறம் அஸ்விதா கல்லிலும் ஒரு ஷோ பண்ணோம் அதுக்கப்புறம் திரும்ப வந்து இங்கே வந்து லாஸ்ட்டாக வந்து எங்கே ஸ்டார்ட் பண்ணோமோ அங்கேயே முடிச்சிருக்கோம் இதில் வந்து ஹண்ட்ரட் இயர்ஸ் வச்சு சென்டினரி ஷோ இது கிட்டத்தட்ட நூறு ஒர்க்ஸ்க்கு மேலே டிஸ்பிளே பண்ணியிருக்கோம் இதில் வந்து போஸ்டர் கலர் ஒர்க்ஸ் போர்டில் பண்ணியிருப்பாங்க கேன்வாஸ்லேயும் சில ஒர்க்ஸ் இருக்குது அப்புறம் வாட்டர் கலர் ஒர்க்ஸ் நிறையா இருக்குதுல அப்புறம் ட்ராயிங்ஸ் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் சைஸில் மினேச்சர் ஃபார்மேட்டில் நிறையா ட்ராயிங்ஸ் இருக்குது அடையார் சீனிவாசில் வந்து பார்த்திங்கன்னா கும்பகோணம் காலேஜில் பிரின்ஸ்பலாக இருந்திருக்கிறாரு அப்புறம் சென்னை காலேஜில் வைஸ் பிரின்ஸிபலாக இருந்திருக்கார் அப்புறம் கலாச்சேத்ராலேயும் ஒர்க் பண்ணியிருக்கிறாரு அவர் நிறையா ஆர்டிஸ்ட்டை வந்து உருவாக்கி இருக்கிறாரு ஸோ அவர் ஷோவை இந்த இடத்துல பண்ணுறதுல எனக்கு இந்த என்னோடய லைஃப்பில் இது ஒரு நல்ல ஆப்பர்ச்சுனிட்டியாக நான் ஃபீல் பண்ணுறேன் சரளா மேடத்துக்கு ஆர்ட் வேர்ல்டு சரளா பேனர்ஜி மேடத்துக்கு நான் தேங்க்ஸ் சொல்லிக்கிறேன் இந்த ஷோவை அவங்க கியூரேட் பண்ணி கொடுத்ததுக்கு இந்த அரேஞ்ச் பண்ணி கொடுத்ததுக்கு தேங்க்ஸ் டு ஆர்ட் வேர்ல்டு சரளா தேங்க் யூ வெரி மச் Namaste, myself Shri Ram. I am proud to say that I am a student of Adhyar K. Srinivas Lu. 
and I was instrumental in one of the person who is who was getting this art show. I must thank Mr. Rama Suresh for this uh, enormous support and workmanship for curating along with Sarla Ma'am. I have to appreciate Mr. Gopal to encourage us to take up the initiative to get it done. This was being done right from 2019. The initiative which was taken from right uh, 2019. And uh, we were astonished to find out that there were more than 200 paintings in hand, which was almost dumped up one, up, uh, one above the other. And we were taking months together to get it into the position what we are able to see now. Some of the paintings have been framed and some have been pressed with a heavy weight on it, which was almost crumped. And we were able to get a very good result from out of the initiative we have taken, the paints we have taken. And we are literally happy to have this show in commemorating the centenary year of Adyar K. I am really over overwhelmed by this show and being a part and parcel of this show. I must thank Sarla Ma'am, Mr. Ramasuresh, as well as Mr. Gopal, son of Mr. Shri Adyar K. Shinoslu and their family members for encouraging me. Thanks a lot. Thank you one and all. Thank you. Hello, uh, I am K. Chitranjan, Srinivas Lusaroda, uh, second son. Uh, I'm, I'm very proud to be his uh, son. And I plan to read the Appa Oda famous every Udo fame Urkunda and I expect it. Because I've been with him at the Chinna Island, I was very happy. And uh, in uh, Sarla Arts, uh, we decided to have a show, but uh, the corona it can't be, it couldn't be realized. And we had a render show, we had a show in the Dakshin Shatra, we had a show in the Dakshin At last, we had a dream realized. Uh, and this is a wonderful show. It is so, um, well organized. And uh, Sarla uh, is a wonderful lady, enterprising. And in the show, Rumbo efforted Mr. Ram Suresh and Sri Ram Rendebere. They are all paintings, preserve panni, frame panni. Allah help and I am very much uh, uh, pleased with them. I think uh, uh, my full gratitude to two per, two persons, <coughs> that is uh, uh, Ram Suresh and uh, uh, <coughs> Siram. Apro in the show community, and uh, all uh, eminent uh, personalities from art uh, uh, art. Uh, 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 what, you, what you can say uh, is uh, uh, from Cholamandal, from Kalakshetra, and uh, uh, everywhere. I mean, the, uh, the person who are interested in art, they have been there. Been, uh, nearly about 100 people had come, and we had a wonderful uh, 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 evening. And, uh, and of course, uh, Sarla is a wonderful person. and. Uh, 
uh, which I should mention, uh, Miss uh, Mrs. Uh, Lakshmi uh, Krishnamurti. She is the one who inaugurated, and uh, she gave a very good, so beautiful speech about my dad, and, and uh, I'm very very pleased. And I came along with my family. They enjoyed uh, a pleasant evening. I too enjoyed. I think uh, I'm very very happy. Okay, thank you. In the particular exhibition of Pakarate, Inu Rombaramba Ananda Marke, Black and White Lai, Yetana Yetana Vandangal, Adela Yetana Yetana Buildings or Pako, Oka or Pako, the grey shades like different, different greys. Apron the Yerkia and the Amma, Papa, our road and the Grammy, Surnalel and the Grammy of Wheatland, the Nigger, the Nigger, the Nigger, Padu Panel Gravido, Arpudaman, Kavi Mark Yena, Yporker Cornelke, and the Gramma Varkanel and the Tiriad. So either Pakate or a reference index Mari use Paniclam Polar. Adun could display Padinkatala, Adihama Pata. ஒரு புதுமையான படைப்புகள் இருக்கு எவ்வளவு தான் பார்த்தாலும் பரவும் பாக்க பாக்க இன்னும் அதுல ஆழ்ந்து பார்க்கணும் போல ஒரு ஆர்வமும் ஒரு ஒரு கோடுகளை ரசிக்கணும்ங்கற ஒரு தூண்டுதலும் கிடைக்கிறது அவர் அப்படியே ஒரு எம்பாடிமென்ட் ஆஃப் ஆர்டிஸ்ட் தேர்ஸ் நதிங் தட் ஹி கான் டு ஆர் ஹி வோன்ட் டு ஆர் ஹி இஸ் ரியலி அ கிரேட் மாஸ்டர் ஆஃப் டெக்னிக்ஸ் இப்பவே பாருங்களேன் இந்த பக்கம் ஒரு ஆல் த பில்டிங்ஸ் ஒரு பக்கம் அப்புறம் இன்னொரு பக்கம் அந்த பெண்ணும் பாப்பாவும் விளையாடுறதா இருக்கு அப்புறம் இந்த பக்கம் நிறைய விதவிதமான நாட்டியம் கோலாட்டம் மாடியில் போனால் மாட்டு ச அப்புறமா அதுக்கு கோழி சண்டு அதுக்கப்புறமா அந்த மாட்டு வண்டியில் போகிறது வர்றது ஒன்னொன்றையும் ஒன்னொன்றையும் பார்த்தாலே ரொம்ப அழகாக இருக்கு அதோட அவர் எல்லாம் கசக்கி கசக்கி வச்சுருந்ததுக்கு இப்போ அதுக்குள்ள ஒரு ஃப்ரேமில் போட்டு அதுக்குள்ள மரியாதையை கொடுத்தா அவ்வளோ அழகாக இருக்கு நார்மலாக எல்லாரும் கம்ப்ளைண்ட் பண்ணுவாங்க நான் ரொம்ப ஃப்ரேமில் பஸ் செலவு பண்ணுறேன்னு நான் சொல்லுவேன் ஆள் பாதி ஆடை பாதி ஸோ நம்ம இங்கே வரணும்னா ஒரு அலங்காரம் கல்யாணத்துக்கு போனோம்னா ஒரு அலங்காரம் மாற்றி மாற்றி பண்ணிக்கிறோம்ல அது மாதிரி படங்களுக்குள்ள மரியாதையும் கொடுக்கணுங்க அது கொடுத்துருக்கிறதுனால ஒன்று 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 வெளியில் வருது உன்னோட பேசுறது உன்னோட இன்டராக்ட் பண்ணுறது அதே மாதிரி ஒரு ஸ்தபத்தை சொல்வார் எந்த வேலை பண்ணாலும் என் ஆர்ட்டோ ஸ்கல்ச்சரோ பாட்டோ இருந்தாலும் நீ எவ்வளோ நியூவன்சஸ் பண்ணுறையோ அதே மாதிரி ஃபிஃப்டி பர்சன்ட் கொஞ்சம் மெல்லோவாக இருக்கணும் இல்லைனா எம்டி ஸ்பேஸ் கூட இருக்கணும் இப்போ நீங்கள் மகாபலிபுரம் போய் அந்த அஞ்சு ரதத்தை பார்த்தீங்கன்னா அதில் திரௌபதி ரதத்தில் ஒன்றுமே இருக்காது வேலைப்பாடு நாலு மூலையில் கொஞ்சம் இருக்கும் அவளுக்கு முன்னாடி இருக்கிற சிங்கத்துலேயும் இருக்காது அந்த தெளிவு இருந்தால் தான் பாக்கியில் ரசிக்க முடியுது அதேமாரி இவரோட ஃப்ரேமெல்லாம் சின்ன சின்ன போஸ்ட் கார்ட் சைஸ் அண்ட் வேரிய சைஸ்க்கு அவ்வளோ ஒயிட் ஸ்பேஸ் கொடுத்துருக்கிறது ரொம்ப அழகாக வெளியே வருது அதே மாதிரி மாடியில் இருக்கிற கலர்ஃபுல் பெயிண்டிங்ஸ்க்கு அந்த டல் சில்வர் கோல்டன் அததுக்கும் உள்ள அழகு பண்ணினா தான் அதோடைய வெளிப்பாடும் வந்து வெறும் படம் படமாக பார்க்கறத விட அதுக்குள்ள மரியாதையும் அதுக்குள்ள ஃப்ரேமில் ஒரு அழகும் நேர்த்தியும் பண்ணியிருக்கிற விதம் ரொம்ப நல்லா இருக்குது 
குரு வந்தனம் வானமே குறையாக பதந்து விரிந்து ஆழ வேறொன்றி விளங்கும் ஆலமரமே வெண் குடையாக புஷ்கரணியை தழுவி வரும் மந்த மாறுதமே சாமரமாக குழுமியிருக்கும் மாணவர்களே வாசமிகு மலர்களாக ஆசிரியரும் மற்றோரும் தீஞ்சுவை கனிகளாக அன்றும் இன்றும் என்றும் ஆராதிக்க முழுகுதற் கடவுளும் நுண்கலைகளை வெளிச்சத்திற்கு கொண்டு வந்த முன்னோடியாய் விளங்கும் அத்தையும் ஆசீர்வதிக்க ஒரு பூசையே தினம் தினம் அரங்கேறும் இந்த ஆலயத்தின் கண் ஒரு மாணவியாய் நுழையவும் வழிவகுத்த திரு ஸ்ரீனிவாசுலு அவர்களின் பிறந்த நூற்றாண்டு விழா கொண்டாடும் வகையில் அவரது ஓவியங்களை தெரிந்து எடுத்து கண்காட்சியினை அமைத்து பெருமையை காட்டும் வகையில் துடிமத்திலும் பதிவு செய்து திருமதி சரளா அவர்களுக்கும் ஆட்டுவல் குழுமத்திற்கும் என் பணிவினர் கலந்த நன்றியை அவரது அனைத்து மாணவர் மாணவர்கள் சார்பிலும் செலுத்துவதில் ஆறாம் மகிழுடன் லக்ஷ்மி சித்துக்கபாவே 